So now Allah gives us advice about how to spend our money. And He says, وَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَ حَقَّهُ And give to the one who possesses closeness. Not the will qurba, the qurba, mufrad, one. Give the one relative his right. Allah is not making us think about all of our relatives at the same time. It is as though Allah is saying, consider each one of them individually. Consider each one of them individually. What happens in a lot of families? A lot of families, if you're an average family, then you have some fight in your family. Some uncle you don't like, some cousin you don't get along with, some brother that you had a problem with or whatever. And somebody needs help. But you think of helping the people that you get along with, and you don't think of helping the people that you had a fight with. We skip them. <laughs> that uncle, no, no, no. He's not getting any. Uh, zakat, I'll give it to some other place. Some sadaqah, I'll give it to my khala, but my, you know, my, my am, my chacha, forget about him. No, 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 I hate that guy. So Allah is telling us, if they are close to you, and Allah gave them that relationship to you. وَأُلُولُ الْأَرْحَامِ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلَى بِبَعْضٍ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ The people that are connected to you by the womb of a mother. Maybe you're connected by your grandmother. Maybe you're connected by your mother, by your father. These are connections of the womb. If, the, if you have that connection, that you have to consider each and every one of them. If they're in need, whether you like them or not, whether you had a fight with them or not, if they deserve your help, then you have to give it to them. And Allah here in this incredible ayah did not even say, وَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى And then after that, amwalak, aw malak. He said, حَقَّهُ Give him what he deserves. Give him his right. In other words, the money sitting in my pocket that should be given to my family members that are in need is actually not my money according to the Qur'an. It's their money that I'm holding. It's his right. Just like when somebody works for you, when somebody, you hire someone to do a job for you, then if they finish their job, that money you agreed to pay them, if you haven't paid them yet and it's in your pocket, it's still not your money. It's actually their money. And you have to give it to them. You know, it's, you can't think of it as, oh, I'm just gonna go shopping with this cash. You can't. You owe it to someone else. That mentality has to permeate, has to be internalized by the Muslim, that for our close relatives, the ones that need help, that's actually their money. The one we have in our pocket is actually their money. It's in our account. We log in and see it in our, our account. But it's actually not ours. It's his right, according to Allah. Haqqahu. You know when, when, you, when you owe someone money, when you owe someone money, then you are quick to pay it, especially if it's a higher authority, if it's like a government. You owe the government taxes, you pay it quickly. You know, you owe the, you know, you owe the electricity company money, or they're gonna cut the electricity, you'll pay the bill quickly. When you owe something and you know that there are going to be consequences, you'll pay it quickly, I'll pay it quickly. Allah Azza wa is now the authority behind the close relative. The, the close relative may not have any authority. As a matter of fact, if he deserves zakat, and he or she deserves sadaqah, then they're not financially capable, which means they're not in a position of authority. But now, their authority is validated by Allah. Allah is the authority that is saying, you better give them their right. 